Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Beetle Brad. Guess what? We're in a different location today. Hmm, somewhere in the Beetle Brad cave. We're different location. Yeah, actually I have a tie-in for this stereo. Uh, I got a clip to play you, but for a second, let me tell you something else real quick. I was all ready to buy my Ringo Star, which comes out today. What's my name? And uh, meaning that's the name of Ringo's new album. <laughs> uh, my store called me and said that they didn't get it in. So I've got tons of Beatles stuff to show, but I kind of had some other stuff to show that I was going to put with that Ringo album. Um, so what a pain. So I'm kind of, I sound a little perplexed. I'm kind of, I don't know, pulling straws or kind of, kind of frustrated because there's there's videos already out there you know that are showing the album and that's great you know I'm glad glad uh, you guys get a heads up and people like Joe and Matthew Street and all those guys and some other people that are gonna do it and that's great um, I just wanted to give you my input of the album and talk about it and show it but I don't have it so hopefully in a couple of days I will be getting it <sighs> okay make a long story longer it's just frustrating <laughs> it really is so this video kind of goes with all the other stuff that I wanted to show you with the Ringo album. Um, I brought my my cue sheet here. This is um, gonna gonna kind of shout out some of the viewers. Uh, I've had a few different viewers that have had requests and had questions and stuff like that. So this is a lot of stuff that they wanted me to show and and things that they sent me. And so this is kind of partly that and some other stuff. When I was going to do with my Ringo. Back when the Abbey Road box set came out a couple of videos back, I mentioned that I have the audio clip of John uh, talking about them walking across the Abbey Road walk across. And so this is for David. So I hope you're listening, David. Hope you're, you're watching. But I wanted to uh, play this clip for him and for everybody else. Like I said, this is kind of a rare clip of John talking about the walk. So here we go. Paul walked barefoot across the road uh, because Paul's idea of being different is to look almost straight, but just have his ear painted blue, you know, something a little supple. We all were a bit like that. We used to go on stage with just, say, one polythene bag on one foot. And nobody might notice it, just us would be laughing. So for Paul, he decided to be barefoot that day, walking across the road. But when you first glance at the album, it looks like the four Beatles or whoever walking it off fully dressed. But he just got his little gimmick, I all. Yeah, I didn't even notice till I got the album. I didn't notice on the day he was barefoot. We were just uh, wishing the photographer would hurry up and it's getting too pe many people are hanging around. It's going to spoil the shot and let's get out of here. We're meant to be recording, not posing for Beatle pictures, you know. That's all we were thinking. And I was muttering, come on, hurry up, keep in step. Just, so yeah, that's kind of a rare clip, actually. It's an audio clip. It's an old clip. You can hear the static and that whole kind of thing. So that's kind of neat. Um, so I wanted to share that with David and the rest of you. Uh, kind of a rare, rare, cool clip. Um, and next up is this album I was going to show, which is a different cover for Rubber Soul. If you saw some of my other videos, I got a, I got this also. Um, I got the album, which was done by this artist. I've got Revolver and Yesterday and Today. And this one is Rubber Soul. And let me give you her. Uh, her name is uh, Danielle. So I want to say thank you, Danielle, very much for this. This is really, really cool. Um, and you can you can get her stuff by uh, her website is uh, etsy.com, um, and she's got some really cool stuff, really really cool stuff. Like I said, you know she's probably got some other artists in there as well. But the, the Beatles one, um, I know you guys would really get a kick out of that because that's really pretty cool, really cool. All right, let me. Let me show another record. This is another recent one that I got. We're getting geared up for Let It Be. And this is my copy that I just recently got of Let It Be. But the cool and neat thing about this one, the really neat thing about this is, it is still in its original shrink. 
and the backing on that. And this is, as I drop it, this is really quite nice, quite nice. Um, and it comes with a sheet kind of explaining all about it, which I've never seen this before, this, this compilation with all of this and the CD of it, which is very nice to get the CD. Um, and then let me show you the record. The record is really beautiful, really clean. I like it. This is side one, and this is side two. Or maybe that's side one, and that's side two. Uh, either way, it's, it's an awesome album. <laughs> really like it, really nice. But the other real exciting thing was I got a very, very rare drawing, I guess you'd say, with it as well. I'm going to block me out so you can see it. Um, so, yeah, look at that. Isn't that neat? Uh, this came in the Let It Be, which I've never seen Let It Be with any of these pictures before like that. A little bit more of a zoom here. Isn't that neat? But, yeah, this, this, is, this is quite thin. And that came in my Let It Be, which is pretty darn cool. Um, and then this is a alternate cover of the Yesterday and Today album. So we can get this. So this is really neat. This is still in the shrink wrap, and this is an alternate shot. Really neat. I like it. I like that a lot. It's beautiful. Just, just beautiful. And it's got the the inner, and it's got all the paperwork with it as well. Um, it's got all the uh, capital paperwork. And then as a, as a bonus, it, gave, it got this, which is the Yesterday and Today photo set of all the stuff that was going on during that time. Are, those are all just terrific shots. I love all of them. They're really, really neat. Uh, like I said, and this is the, the head letter and the discussion and all that kind of stuff of, of the album being released. Just excellent. Uh, like I said, this is all the the paperwork talking about that. Watch, that'll probably be my thumbnail. <laughs> I hope not. I've, I've kind of selected a different picture for my thumbnail, but you never know. They always, YouTube always picks something just kind of stupid for my, I mean, not well done for my <laughs> thumbnail. And this is a capital pressing. Very, very nice. And it's capital on both sides. <laughs> um, also, I was in Target. And I got this. I've already put it in the plastic. I, you know, I might do a video on this. But, you know, for, for your larger boxes and stuff like that, these freezer bags are excellent. Because you can fit them in right there. And you still protect it. But this is a Target exclusive. Um, and these are really getting hard to find. Oh my gosh, I've had a terrible time trying to find it. Comes with the album, single album, and a t-shirt. Um, but like I said, you know, you can see it's a fr freezer bag. Um, but yeah, this is this is the. I uh, still have it sealed. It's the uh, Target exclusive because you know I bought all the other Abbey Road stuff, and I don't, I don't think I'll open it because Beetle Brad's already got several Abbey Road shirts. I mean, you guys have seen my my video where I show a bunch of them of the Abbey Roads. Uh, and then this is, considering talking about Abbey Road, um, Tommy Burton gave this to me. Another guy in the VC. He has his own channel, Tommy Burton. And this is uh, like a 45 adapter. It's by Crosley, which, you know, Crosley kind of really is not really too happy in the vinyl community or selling that great of record players. But hey, you know, the adapter's right here. And why not? I mean, it was only, here, I'll give you the website. I mean, it was only a couple bucks. So, you know, why not keep that? Um, a lot of just different stuff to show you. Uh, let's see. So, my next person, and that, oh, I got to grab this. Don't go away. I got to reach. Reach, reach, reach. Um, this is from one of my viewers, Wes who sent this to me out of the blue. Didn't even know about this. Um, he sent this big CD, 
and it's CDs that he made of the Beatles. And he's got like a mixer, which I bought one of them too, one of the Radio Shack mixers, and it allows you to fade in and out of the videos, videos, audios, so you can kind of mix from one to the next to the other. And it's a bunch of them that he did. And Wes, I, I have been listening to these. They are excellent. I'm really, really enjoying these. So thank you, sir. And also, the next set that he sent me was Casey Kasem, uh, Top 40. And it's all on the Beatles for uh, 1981. It's fantastic sound quality. It's really good. And then here's some other radio shows. Um, and this is just jam-packed with all kinds of radio, old radio shows. And I'm, I'm really enjoying this. So I wanted to say thank you to Wes, give a shout-out to him of, of sending this to me. And there's just, there's just tons more in here. I'm kind of skimming through it quickly now because I don't want to make this too terribly long. So that's, that's really nice. So, yeah, this is, this is great. And I, like I said, having a good time listening to it. So thank you very much again, Wes. You, you guys are, are incredible. I mean, you're sending me these gifts. And what a fantastic thing it is. I mean, these are just such a blessing. So thank you to each and every one of my viewers that have sent this. Um, and then we've got a new viewer who's kind of new to the VC. And uh, his name is Kevin Vinyl Collector. And the collector is with a capital K, and then an E, which is a capital E, um, and then the R in the end is capitalized either, but collector is small caps, where where that is all large caps. And he's got phenomenal stuff. He just came back from England, um, and he's shown a bunch, bunch, bunch of stuff that he's gotten, and he's got a wide variety of ELO, um, miscellaneous albums, Elvis, Beach Boys, you know, Stones. He's right in the middle of showing a bunch of his Stones albums. And that's great. So, Kevin, I want to say thank you to you, sir, for sending this to me, which is really neat. This is the Abbey Road promotional thing, which this is the promotional flat. This isn't, this isn't the actual stand-up poster um, like uh, Joe Mayo got. Joe got the actual stand. And I've, I've run out of room, so really I don't really want it because I don't have anywhere to go with it. You know, I've got nowhere to put it and all that kind of stuff, so I didn't get it. But I was in my Barnes & Noble, and they had one, and I just asked them out of curiosity. And she said, oh, we're not allowed to give those away. It's a copyright from Apple Corps, and we're not allowed to give them away, so we have to destroy them or pitch them. And I'm like, that's so stupid. So, so stupid. Um... The only reason they're doing that is because they don't want people selling them online. And I told her that I was, you know, I was a Beatles collector. And, you know, this will go in my Beatles room. And I told her it'll go in my Beatles room as well. Let me grab something else. And she was just like, no, no, you can't have it. I was like, okay, great. I also got this, which is Bruce Spicer's new book. I'm just now starting into this. This is a hardbound book. Um, and there is just some tremendous stuff in here i'm just now starting to get into reading it um and it is it is definitely a must for any beetle collector this this bruce spicer really really knows how to do a, a a magnificent book um i pretty much have got all of his books the only one i don't have is believe it or not i missed out of the sergeant pepper one so but i'll i'll be getting that one you know, just give it a little time. And then I've got the White Album and all the others. and um, But a great, great book. Excellent. So I, I recommend that. And uh, you can order yours through by, uh, Bruce Spicer's website. So just, I think it's Bruce Spicer, something like that. And Conga Man, who also has a channel, if you want to watch his channel, he has an article in here. One of our vinyl community people actually has an article in here. Uh, from him. So, Conga Man, way to go. Oh, man, that's awesome that you've got an article in Bruce Spicer's new book. So, congratulations on that. There's just really great stuff. But I want to thank all of my viewers that sent me this stuff. It is just, what a blessing. What an absolute blessing. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Um, and I don't mean to be boastful in showing this. I'm just sharing it with you to say thank you and to, to, just to show you some fun stuff and something a little bit different. Because I was going to tie this into the Ringo and show the album. But we'll have to do that on another day <laughs> whenever I get it in. So thank you very much. Comment down below um, what you thought of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a stressful time kind of trying to make it. This is my second shot at it because it didn't go well. I'm just kind of perplexed on words and thoughts. But I do thank you very much for watching. And as I say on my channel, I'm out of here. Take care, everybody. See ya.